1424 once again with NASCAR Heat 3. In this episode of our season with Matt Crafton's number 88 Menards Ford, we are going to be completing race 16 of 23, which is going to be at Bristol Motor Speedway for the Uno 200, which is an abbreviation for University of Northwestern Ohio. Ohio is a good 15, 20 hours, something like that, away from Tennessee, so... I'm not really finding out a way to put this together, but anyhow, in the last episode, we went to Michigan and got our second win of the season, finally, and right now in the point standings, we are in fourth place, just a small ways behind Johnny Sauter, and well, with that second win, that kind of pulls us ahead of some people that had one win, so right now, we're in fourth place. If we can maintain this kind of performance, we can find ourselves being in the Final Four, and that's what I want to do, get in that Final Four and try to win the championship on this game, because sadly, I was so close to doing an NASCAR Heat 2, but it didn't happen. Now, Stuart Friesen at the bottom, our teammate Grandfinger is in 6th place because he's the highest in points with just one win, but, you know, he does have more points than Todd Gillen, so he could be in 5th place if he gets himself another win. So, going to this race at Bristol, uh, whenever I first got this game, I was finding Bristol be a really tough track, and the reason why was because I would run the outside line, you know, where the, the darker part of the track is, and I've come to realize after running a practice before I started recording this video, the bottom line is better even though it's like the, the brightest part of the track where it seems like less the AI tend to run. But if they want to pass you, they want to pass on the bottom. And, well, you're faster on the bottom whether they're trying to pass you or not. So we're going to be running the bottom today, and hopefully we can find ourselves getting a top five. When I came here to practice for recording the video, I qualified with setup five and then quickly decided to go to setup six just because I wanted a little more grip off the corners. I felt like if I put it on setup six, it wouldn't be spinning up the corners. So it has to be setup six during the race and qualifying because on setup seven, we all know that if you have a loose vehicle at Bristol, it likes to just hang a freaking left, and then it won't stop steering. It'll just go straight down the inside wall, and I've had to deal with that with a lot of online races where the car is too loose or whatever, and you just can't stop it from spinning and sliding and stuff. So we're going set up six, next session, and we'll head into qualifying. I think I should try running qualifying the same way I run the race on the bottom lane. And obviously, like I said, I ran qualifying a while ago with like set up five, so I'm running qualifying with set up six now, which is probably going to be better. And of course, I'm on running the groove instead of being on the inside lane like it should be. But yeah, most of the race I'm gonna be trying to do stuff like this, hang on the inside lane, I keep it off the apron. This way, I can just run up towards the outside wall as I come off the corner. Second place. That is the best qualifying I have gotten in this game yet. Yeah, it's on the outside, but second place. Whew, golly, how I wished I was on setup six and running the bottom whenever I qualified a while ago. Cause I didn't know I had this much potential. Whenever I first got this game, I thought this track was impossible to race at whenever it came to the AI, just because of how much of an advantage they had on us. I didn't realize it because of the inside lane. Oh, so, Harrison Burton on pole. Let's go win that first stage. We can do this. We just gotta get to the inside as soon as the race starts, and dive past them, and try to maintain position. Failed optical scanning station multiple times. Ben Rhodes. Well, I mean, I don't know if he's gonna be making the playoffs if he's starting that badly. I don't think Ben Rhodes has won a race, but if he does win one, he makes it in because of like where he is in the points, probably. Uh, yeah, so green flags out. Underway for the first six laps of the race. It's first stage. Dive underneath Harrison Burton right here. See, on the bottom lane, like you run out of grip whenever you try staying down there, but you do get a really good run off. You just got to be aggressive going in. And Harrison Burton's right there in front of me, but if I focus, I can get this position. Let's just work on him. Got Johnny Sauter trying to make a pass on me. Got to really dive into the corner fine. Arc it back down, coming off perfectly. We can do this. We just go into sweat mode real quickly. Oh, we're making that dive underneath him right here. Look, wash up towards the center. But we got a good enough runoff to be right there behind him. Okay, we'll dive it into three right here. We can make this path for the next lap or so. Oh, getting a bit of a runoff right here, but we are tied off. Ooh, bumping into him. God, I got sideways. We're racing for the stage one. Oh, I got two tied in. We're going to be three wide off of two. Oh, uh, Noah Gregson takes the lead. Or he's trying to. Okay, let me hit the brakes. Uh, what a crossover. What a race for the lead right now. This is probably the best race we're going to get all season. And now Noah Gregson, we got one lap to go in the stage. Oh, I don't think I can get past Gregson, but we're going to finish this pass on Harrison, but we're going to lose a position in the stage. I know we got this. 
I'm barely touching that apron. Yeah, Noah Gragson just ran away with it. Made too much of a dive into turn one a while ago and he made it free wide and he just flew past both of us. I tried to come back around him and get that pass, but this couldn't happen. But still, second place in the first stage, nine stage points. I'll take it. Let's see if we get a position or two before the playoffs comes to an end. Because actually, tomorrow, whenever we go to Canadian Tire, that's going to be the first race of the playoffs from what I've heard from um, a couple of my fans in the last episode. Uh, we have 27 laps of fuel and 20 laps remaining in the race. So does that basically mean that we are not taking pit stops in the race? If that's the case, I'm going to have to take my shirt off in the final stage because driving on excessively worn tires is going to be just absolute freaking hell. So no pit stop. <laughs> Start this stage from the outside again. But, I mean, we're running up front. So, yeah, screw it. Like, who cares? We're on the outside, but we're running up front. That's great. Uh, can we get a better start to the stage this time? Probably not, because usually the leader doesn't have to deal with too much wheel spin. I shouldn't be beating the leader to the finish line anyways, or the start line, as you'd call it. But, okay, let's just keep running at the bottom. Our tires might be a little worn now, but we can still race to try to get past Noah Dragson right here. Ugh, I I'm driving on the freaking apron. Ugh, I bumped into him. That is not how I was trying to make that pass, but golly, I'm just ugh, anxious to get this crap. Uh, onto the apron again. Uh, a bump. Uh, I gotta make more perfect corners. Let's stop trying to run them into the wall almost every freaking corner and just focus on making good turns. Hit the apron. See, I'm trying to now, but I'm hitting the apron instead. We're pulling away from these guys behind us, but golly, it is so fucking hard to pass the leader at this freaking track, apparently. Okay, just arc it back down. Okay, sweat mode again. No, oh, there goes Brett Moffat diving underneath me even harder than I dove into the freaking corner. Now someone's trying to pass me down below, freaking Harrison Burton. Get this spot back. Ah, uh, now Harrison Burton's trying to dive underneath me off the corner, and he will. Never mind, he decided to give up and not make it three wide in the front stretch. Well, once again, we're battling for second place at the end of a stage, not first place. I can't keep up with the leader no matter who it is. Even if it's a different driver, I've proven to be faster than them during qualifying or even as the run goes on. It's just like... I, I can't beat the leader. And also, yeah, M Brett Moffitt would lead the pass. We're going to finish third and second stage. Tires are really dragging me down right now. The truck is lacking so much more in grip now. So are we taking pit stops now, despite the fuel? No pit stops this race? What the fuck, game? How? How? Like, why do we have so much more fuel? Like, they're supposed to give us, like, less fuel so that we find ourselves having to take a pit stop. Uh, I mean, look at those right sides and then the left sides. Air worn. I don't know if we're getting other cautions on during this run. This probably sounds absolutely ridiculous, but I don't need to win this race. We're in the playoffs. I'm going to try something. I mean, this is not in the playoffs, so yeah, I think that's okay. We'll get two, ca bleh, two cans of fuel, four tires. I don't need any fuel. So, yeah, no fuel. We'll get four tires, and I guess we can repair damage if there's any at all. Yeah, we're all the way at the back now. Ben Rhodes has not made any progress since the race started. Wow. <laughs> I figured he would have gone somewhere, considering he probably started up front somewhere, but yeah... Thing happened with the optical scanning station. We have fresher tires in every single driver in the field right now. We are all the way at the back. We've only got so many laps to use these fresher tires. So, I don't know if they're going to pit during this stage for some reason, but Ben Rhodes can't go anywhere because his tires are worn and he's hugging the bottom lane. Get out. Well, now I'm back here, but I can't pass him because they hugged the bottom lane. So there we go. So, let's just pass as many people as possible. And I should be just flying past people with these freaking um, fresh tires. Okay, just don't grab onto the apron like I did like probably four times already in this race. That really doesn't help our case at all. Yeah, I'm getting past people very quickly, and no, these people are um, people at the back of the field, and the leaders are faster, but still, usually they all drive quite similar lap times, and we're just kind of speeding past a bunch of them right now. Ugh, golly, truck turn. Fresh tires, man. There's Dalton Sarge, someone that usually starts up front all the way back here. Oh, ran into Purdy. That, that wasn't so purdy. I don't know. But yeah, I, I forget who drives the freaking A truck, but it's like a Dale Earnhardt Jr. tribute paint scheme. And I never remember the name of the person who drives it. Yeah, but we're just flying through the field right now. I already made up like 10 positions. Well, 10 positions once I go into this corner. Gonna make it three wide, hit the apron, it starts to kick my truck out sideways. 
wearing down the tires too quickly. I don't know about winning this race or even getting a top 10 now just because of the strategy that I pulled, but if there's a caution, just one caution, like right now, within the next couple laps, I don't know if I would be the one to cause it. That's going to give us such an advantage against everybody else, and especially if they try pitting. If they have fresher tires than us or something, I don't know. But um, I really wish that we have some kind of caution in the next few laps. If it's towards the end, then we're going to have like a green-white checker, but even that would help us just because we'd be better at the restart than everybody. Still, I hate how this race just did that. Like, I really wish that there was a mandatory pit stop. You know, you'd run out, run out of gas if you don't pit, but oh, this race is so different from all the other ones because it's good, but it's just missing that one thing. I swear my game just lagged. Please, caution. Please. Ow, I, I saw it skip a couple frames, but I guess not. Well, we're up to 17th. Already passed like half the freaking field. And I did that in, what, six laps? So, yeah, I passed half the field in the time that we had, like, uh, with the other two stages. It's just, as we get closer through the field, this truck starts to run out of grip on the laps, and, um, well, these guys are faster. You just gotta close in on them, be careful how we pass people, I don't wanna wreck them all. I kinda do wanna wreck somebody, because I'm gonna get a caution, but still, I'm not gonna do it on purpose. We'll do it on accident. We'll accidentally do it on purpose. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, see some people all the way down at the bottom of the track up there. I don't know if they're trying to take pit stops or what, but golly, it irritates the hell out of me how we're not having a mandatory pit stop. I say it over and over again. Laps are counting down. Todd Gillen is behind me. Wow, he's having an awful race. I mean, I'm not having one that's much better, but mine's because of strategy. I don't, he ain't got no excuse, right? Okay, let's close in on these guys. We've only got a few laps left, but, you know, we've got to try getting a top 10. I might not be running faster as I did, like, the beginning of the race just because I'm back here and I'm... Uh, in traffic and I don't know how much faster I can actually drive. When I'm racing the leader and trying to keep up with him, I guess I'm better because I'm pushing myself even harder. I have to pass all three of these guys right in front of me right here. Just gotta not be too aggressive doing it. Mark it back down to the bottom. Usually they have much more grip on the outside. They can just pull on you off the freaking corner. But in that case, we kind of stayed side by side. It goes to show what fresh tires is doing for us. It's just, uh, with worn tires, they're still almost as good as us. Also, yeah, it's the last lap. We're going to finish 13th in this race. Uh, why did I bother, I guess? I mean, I think I honestly would have lost this many positions and wound up finishing 13th place if I um, decided not to take a pit stop just because on worn tires, you take it worse than everybody else does. Speed rating 105. According to the game's statistics, I was fast enough to win this race. But, yeah, I, I definitely would have not won the race even if I had not taken my pit stop. I probably would have lost positions in that final stage. I think that was Noah Graxon's second win of the season. I think he already had won a race just ages ago because I remember seeing him in the playoffs, don't I? Or maybe that wasn't him in the playoffs. And I'm thinking of somebody else. But yeah, I was really just experimenting, trying to see what would happen if I got my tires after the second stage. And yeah, I guess it was a bad idea. I might not have lost that many positions in the final stage. Probably would have fallen back to like seventh or eighth and finished better. But still, this race is impossible when just for the reason that they don't have to take pit stops. It doesn't really limit them on fuel whenever you start off the race. And so the regular season comes to an end. We've got seven races left. The first three should be the round of eight. The second three are the round of six. And then we've got the final race of the season at Homestead, the final four race. That was indeed No Graxon's second win of the season. He's only one point behind us because all the points is reset. Basically, if you make the playoffs, they give everyone 2,000 points, and then you get your points for having won races or, you know, won stages and stuff like that, and that's just, just about it. And at least Grant Infinger make it. That was something I was hoping for. Uh, we got Brett Moffat just two points behind John Ender Nemechek, and usually Brett Moffat is better, but John Ender Nemechek has gotten more luck with the wins, and that's just about it. So uh, either me or Brett Moffat for the championship. I'd also like to see Johnny Sauter win it. I really don't care that much for John Hunter Nemechek, but okay, let's get out of here. See you guys tomorrow for the Chevrolet Silverado 250 at Canadian Tire. That is a road course, and the AI, they're not at their best at road courses just yet, but they are getting pretty good. So we should be able to finish in the top five, if not win it. And we got Las Vegas after that, so we should have a good first round in the playoffs. We were already, you know, good on points a little bit, and you can run well at both of these tracks. You saw we ran at Las Vegas at the beginning of the season, but see you next time. That's that, and let me switch to the playoff paint scheme. Episode over.